Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, and Metal Slug X were released to great acclaim, the original development team that created the games at SNK were riding high. Still committed to pushing the series to new frontiers, they sat down to work on yet another installment of the popular franchise in 1999. The result of their hard work was Metal Slug 3, which reached arcades in March of 2000. The first thing to note here is that gameplay is virtually no different at all than it was in Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, and Metal Slug X. You choose a character, plow through levels, collect sweet weapons, and laugh along the way. The only real gameplay change was that divergent paths were added. This means that within each level, the player or players are allowed several different paths, each of which contain different enemies, weapons, and vehicles, but all of them lead to the same stage bosses. I thought this was a pretty great addition to the series, because it created the possibility that every playthrough would be different, at least in some ways. This was a rarity among arcade games at the time, so it was a nice little touch. Even though no new actual weapons were added in Metal Slug 3, several new vehicles were, and this is what sticks out the most. The Slug Mariner is a submarine with a twin Vulcan cannon, and can fire strong torpedoes as well. The Elephant Slug is a giant vehicle that also fires a twin Vulcan while the player rides on top. The Ostrich Slug is extremely similar to the Camel Slug in Metal Slug 2. The LV Rebel Armor is a mechanized robot that can double jump. It has a cannon, but can also attach weapons to one of its claws as well. At close range, the claws can also be used for short-ranged attacks. The Slug Copter comes equipped with Vulcan cannons that can rotate a full 360 degrees. It can also drop giant bombs from the air. The Drill Slug is a digging vehicle that cannot jump, but does do immense damage with its drill bore. My favorite vehicle in Metal Slug 3 though is the Astro Slug, a Martian spaceship with a semi-automatic cannon and the ability to attach weapon pods to its sides. When you ride this thing, the game transforms into a space shooter of sorts and it was a really cool new game mechanic they hadn't really done before. Of course, the huge unique bosses make Metal Slug 3 special. My favorite is definitely the Jupiter King, the giant mecha robot that fires homing missiles, but really, Every single one of these bosses are awesome. You can just tell SNK put a lot of creative energy into making each boss completely distinct, and each was so well designed with its own animations. The end boss too was unlike anything else the series had done before, and you get to slice and dice it. Completely satisfying. Like all other Metal Slug games, the graphical style and character animations really stand out as always and the game is packed with amazing sound effects and a prototypical cheesy announcer. Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher. Overall, Metal Slug 3 put all the best aspects of the series together into one game, and packed more fun into the franchise via the divergent paths and new vehicles. You can tell that the developers really hit their mark on this game. It was everything a Metal Slug fan wanted at the time, and its arcade-perfect port to the Neo Geo was highly sought after. The title was eventually released on other consoles too, including PlayStation 2, Xbox, Nintendo Wii, and other platforms. The easiest way to play it today is probably through Steam, where you can get it for $7.99. Check it out because it's certainly worth it, and possibly the greatest offering in the series. It was also the last Metal Slug game created by the original development team, and their passion was evident. If you liked this review and remember Metal Slug 3, leave a comment below about the most memorable aspect of the game to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell below to be alerted upon the addition of new ones. Also, please consider supporting my channel via YouTube's join feature to receive member exclusives, such as advanced videos and complete video transcripts.